بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس ویش یوزرز ٹیٹوریل آن اپلائنگ پیچ اپلیکیشن فور ڈیٹا ایکسپورٹ دا ایم آف دس ٹیٹوریل اس ٹو ڈیمیسٹریٹ دا پروسس آف ایکسپورٹنگ ڈیٹا فرام سی ایس ٹی بی اور ٹیکس فارمیٹ یوزنگ پیچ پروسیسنگ ویڈ دا فلیکسیبیلیٹی ٹو انکلوڈ اور ایکسکلوڈ ویلیو لیبلز I have population and housing census data in two formats, CSDB and text. Exporting data with batch edit application. Click new on the toolbar or go to the file menu and choose new. In the window that appears, select batch edit application and click OK. In the next window, Type the application name, use export data as the file name or you can give any name. Make sure you are in the right folder. I am working in 105 export folder. Click save to proceed. You will be asked to provide a dictionary name. Choose it from the Popston census folder and then click save. And press the OK afterward. Now click the run icon on the toolbar or select run from the file menu. In the next screen, click the three dots or ellipses next to the input data and navigate to the Popston census folder to find your data file. Choose the census data file. In CSDB format. Next, select Excel as the source type and click the three dots or ellipses for the output data. Save this file in the batch application folder as pop underscore data. Press save to continue. Now I want to export data with value labels. After the file name, add a pipe symbol and then type values, then an equal sign and then type codes dash and dash labels. Press OK. A summary report will appear in the CS Pro text viewer. Close that window. Now go to the file you just created. It is in the 105 export folder. Double click to open it. And you will see the values along with their labels in the file. For another example, let's say we only want to export data about members, including their labels. To do this, we use the attribute name record and the record name close your excel file we will overwrite the data in the same file or you can create a new excel file run your application again after adding the labels include ampersand person symbol then type attribute name record followed by an equal sign and then record name. The record name is person. Click OK. Now reopen your Excel file. This time it will contain data only from the person record. The Excel file we made uses names and labels at the top and it shows codes and labels for each data point. The first column presents item names. The second column shows its labels. All items names are in capital letters. If you want to see the dictionary items unique name only, you can use the attribute name header. Let's use this attribute for our purpose. Close your Excel file and run your application. After the file name, add attribute name header with an equal sign then type names 
and after that put the ampersand symbol. It is important to note that the attributes order does not matter here, but make sure to use the ampersand symbol to separate attributes. Click OK to continue. After the process is complete, open your Excel file again. This time, you will see the variable names instead of the variable labels. If you are interested in displaying the names and labels, then use names dash and dash labels after the equal sign with header attribute and then add ampersand symbol. Click OK to proceed. Once the process is complete, reopen your Excel file. In the file, the first column presents item names. The second column shows its labels and all item names are in capital letters. You can use these options with the text file too. First, choose text as the source type for your input data. Then select the file name Popstan Census from the Popstan Census folder. For the output data, simply provide a new file name. All you need to do is add an underscore and the letter A. Once you have done that, click OK to proceed. After the task is finished, open the Excel file called pop underscore data underscore A from the 105 export folder. You will see the same results as you would from the CSTB format file. I hope this tutorial helps you use attributes effectively when exporting data with batch applications. If you need more information, you can always check CS Pro built-in help resources. Keep on learning and goodbye.